Good day everyone. Let's have a quick math video. And before we start, credits to Master Eric Dominic Manginsay for sharing this wonderful question. So let's start. Here's the question. Evaluate the integral. The integral of 3x raised to 5 minus x raised to 4 plus 2x cubed minus 12x squared minus 2x plus 1 all over x cubed minus 1 quantity squared dx. And if you want to try this problem, just pause this video and if you're ready, here's the solution. Our solution involves Ostogradsky method. So we have the integral of p of x all over q of x dx is equal to p sub 1 of x all over q sub 1 of x plus the integral of p sub 2 of x all over q sub 2 of x dx. Wherein, p of x and q of x are polynomial and q of x has repeated roots. Also, the degree of p of x is less than the degree of q of x. In short, p of x all over q of x is a proper fraction. Next, q sub 1 of x is equal to the GCD of q of x and the derivative of q of x. q sub 2 of x is equal to q of x all over q sub 1 of x. Also, p sub 1 of x and p sub 2 of x are some polynomials with a degree that is 1 less than the degree of q sub 1 of x and q sub 2 of x. And solving the numerical coefficient of p sub 1 of x and p sub 2 of x involves partial fraction decomposition. So let's start. So we have q of x is equal to x cubed minus 1 quantity squared. It follows that the derivative of q of x is equal to 6x squared multiplied by x cubed minus 1. Thus q of 1 of x is equal to x cubed minus 1, the GCD of q of x and the derivative of q of x. It follows that q sub 2 of x is equal to x cubed minus 1 also because x cubed minus 1 quantity squared divided by x cubed minus 1 will give us x cubed minus 1. Now since q of 1 of x is a third degree polynomial, p of 1 of x is a second degree polynomial. Therefore, p sub 1 of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Also, p sub 2 of x is also a quadratic. So we have dx squared plus ex plus f. Now, our original integral becomes ax squared plus bx plus e all over x cubed minus 1 plus the integral of dx squared plus ex plus f all over x cubed minus 1 dx. Now, take the derivative both sides. We have this one. Next, applying the quotient rule and let this numerator be equal to p of x. So we have p of x all over x cubed minus 1 quantity squared is equal to x cubed minus 1 multiplied by 2ax plus b minus ax squared plus bx plus c multiplied by 3x squared all over x cubed minus 1 quantity squared. Then bring down the remaining term. Next, multiply both sides by x cubed minus 1 quantity squared. We have p of x is equals to x cubed minus 1 multiplied by 2ax plus b minus ax squared plus bx plus c multiplied by 3x squared plus x cubed minus 1 multiplied by dx squared plus ex plus f. Now, this is pretty much the same as solving partial fraction decomposition, wherein we need to isolate the terms having the same variable. So, we have p of x is equals to a multiplied by negative x raised to 4 minus 2x plus b multiplied by negative 2x cubed minus 1 plus c multiplied by negative 3x squared plus d multiplied by x cubed minus x squared plus e multiplied by x raised to 4 minus x plus f multiplied by x cubed minus 1. Now we're almost done, so let's continue. Next, recall that p of x is equals to 3x raised to 5 minus x raised to 4 plus 2x cubed minus 12x squared minus 2x plus 1. Now, comparing the coefficient of x raised to 5 on both sides, so from the right side, we have d, and from the left side, we have 3. Therefore, d is equals to 3. Next, the coefficient of x raised to 4. From the right side, we have negative a plus e. From the left side, we have negative 1. We continue. The coefficient of x raised to 3. From the right side, we have negative 2b plus f. And from the left side, we have positive 2. Coefficient of x raised to 2. On the right side, we have negative 3c minus d. And on the left side, we have negative 12. Second to the last, 
the coefficient of the variable x on the right side we have negative 2a minus e and on the left side we have negative 2 and the constant on the right side we have negative b minus f and on the left side we have positive 1 we already know that d is equals to 3 now using the equation negative 3c minus d is equals to negative 12 and let d is equal to 3 we get c is equals to 3 next Using the equations negative a plus e equals a negative 1 and negative 2a minus e equals a negative 2, using elimination method, we get a is equals to 1 and e is equals to 0. Similarly, using the equations negative 2b plus f is equals to 2 and negative b minus f equals to 1, we get b is equals to negative 1 and f is equals to 0. Going back to our integral, and using the values of a, b, c, d, e, and f, our integral becomes x squared minus x plus 3 all over x cubed minus 1 plus the integral of 3x squared all over x cubed minus 1 dx. Now, notice that the derivative of x cubed minus 1 is equal to 3x squared dx. Therefore, we have x squared minus x plus 3 all over x cubed minus 1 plus the natural log of the absolute value of x cubed minus 1 plus c. Therefore, the integral of 3x raised to 5 minus x raised to 4 plus 2x cubed minus 12x squared minus 2x plus 1 all over x cubed minus 1 quantity squared dx is equal to x squared minus x plus 3 all over x cubed minus 1 plus the natural log of the absolute value of x cubed minus 1 plus c. And we're done.